tight, you're killing dude. Oh, I felt just amazing right off the barrel. No feedback. Oh. That felt good. That wind's killing them. I gotta really hit them hard. Isn't it? Oh, every single, it doesn't matter if I'm hitting end cap or handle, it's making that crack. Yeah. Oh. That'll, do. That'll do the job. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Got ourselves another bat for you guys, and this time we have the Monster Apocalypse. This is an anonymous custom gloves exclusive. Um, this is based on the Monster Sinister platform. So you know this is going to be a one-piece bat. It's going to be a mid-load swing weight. And it's going to have, it's only going to come in 25 ounces. Um, it has this, has the FIB, the, the inner barrel technology. It also has the M2 tech. And this is a 3,500 handle. Um, we tested this bat 1,400 new in the wrapper. And we scaled this in at 25.2 ounces. Um, I've got Josh, Big Drew, and Savannah out here in Cary, North Carolina with me. We're hitting over there at um, Salem Middle School. We're hitting on a fence that's uh, 290 feet all the way around. Um, we're a little bit behind the plate. I don't know if it's exactly 10 feet, but we we hit behind the plate because the um it was real muddy in the um in the in the on deck box or not the on deck but the um, batter's box. But uh, let's get to the um, to review, and I'm gonna get to Josh real quick for you guys. By the way, we were hitting some um, some um, 52 300 game balls, and we were also hitting some Evil 52 plus um, BP balls. And guys, if you haven't got you picked up your um, Evil BP balls, you need to head over to this website and pick some up because once these things sell out, it's gonna be really hard to get them in because it's taking a long time to get stuff in if you haven't noticed. But um, they've got they've got their game balls and they've got their BP balls, so go take a look. And I'll pick you some up, guys. But uh, let's get to Josh real quick. Good, and basically, Josh said, he said, hey, out of the wrapper, he felt like this bat was really broken in. It, it broke in faster out of the wrapper. But uh, he said he, but he felt like maybe that was because he felt like there was more flex in the handle. Um, and he said, but after about, it, he said the bat really opened up Sounds after about like 200 it. swings. Dive right there. Um, as far as, let's go back to the handle real There's quick. Sometimes when you get a flex, ball, more flexible handle, the barrel feels softer. So... I don't say I'm not gonna say this is a really yeah. flexy handle. This is not a 2500, but yeah. sometimes when a bat has a little bit more flex in the handle, you're going to get a softer barrel, and that's probably what Josh was talking about. Um, he said, but yeah, like I said, he opens up once. It, he says it, it, this bat would hang with all the same level of all the other sinister bats that he swung in the past. Um, but Josh also goes back to the handle here, and he goes. He tends to relate more to flexier handles. That's how it kind of paired up with him well. Um, his current gamer is a Valhalla 2500 handle flex handle, and um, I think he's swinging something like the Black Sheep. I could I could be wrong, but I think it's the Black Sheep version of it. But um, he said that um, this was a little bit easier to swing than all the other Sinisters that kind of seem really seem to be really stiff, had a stiffer feel to them. He said, as far as the paint job, he said it was an okay paint job, but he wasn't blown away by it. Um, I'm gonna head over to Savannah and and kind of, we're gonna kind of um, start off where jo Josh left off, and she starts right off with a paint job. She said, hey, the paint job wasn't flashy. She said, but it was an easy bat to control. Um, the one piece is definitely not as friendly as a two piece for the soft hands. Um, she said she, she said it would be a great option for girls who were looking to um, get some extra pop, but she said um, she thought it might take a little bit longer for ladies to break in and say some of the other bats. Um, as for my take, uh, this did seem to me a softer barrel. It seemed like it broke in faster, in my opinion, kind of like what Josh was saying. Um, I don't feel like it was flexy handle, but it just – it. I don't know. I mean, it seems like you could hit it toward the end cap. You could hit it down to the taper, and you didn't feel it like you do some of the stiffer handle bats. And um, and I the this weekend we we just hit we hit another monster bat that had a 4500 handle, and man, could you tell the difference? Um, but this bat, it, I mean, from the you know from the knob to the top, I felt like you really you didn't really feel the miss hits like you do on typical one piece bats. Um, as far as the paint job, I actually like the paint job. And my son, Dakota, he liked it because it had red in it, and he loves his red. But um, it, as far as the swing weight, the swing weight was perfect because it swung just like a, a true, 
I, I kind of um, matched up all the scale weights to this to all the other um, sinisters that I've swung in the past, and it was right there with it. But uh, this was definitely a keeper, guys. And after I hit, we probably put third. We put 300 swings on this thing, and it dropped down to about 1,300 on the tester. Um, this has got a ways to go to get down to where you are. I couldn't find the information on what this is supposed to test at. If I were to guess, it's around 1050 or 950, but this is this still got has a, quite a few ways to go before it gets to right where you want it. Um, but this will be a great bat to hit. Um, I know Drew liked it. I didn't get his um, input on it. But um, you need to head over to Anonymous Custom Gloves website. They still have some of these in stock. And I know they have a version of this in the black sheep. They had one. I don't think they have the torches on, in anymore, this version, with this, with this paint job. But I know they still have the Sinisters. And they have some other monster bats that you can take a look at that you can pre-order. But um, and if, if you're looking for a glove, they, get, they do the custom glove. So you can go in there and um, order your glove the, the custom way you want. But um, I'll put their link down in the um, description so you can find these guys. And they're also on Instagram, and they're also on Facebook. You can find them there also. But uh, I want to give a special thanks for them guys to send this bat out for us to do a review on. And, hey, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And, hey, if you liked the video, like it. If you didn't, dislike it. Just let me know and hit me up anytime on Instagram, Facebook, guys, anywhere you want. And I'll be glad to talk shop with you. But uh, I guess that's it. Until next time, keep hitting it, hitting it guys. And I'll talk to you later. Thank you.